I fix furnaces for a living and the most frequent call I get is about a flame sensor. And that's something you can easily do yourself. So you come down, your furnace is doing absolutely nothing. First thing you want to do is turn off the power switch for about three seconds, turn it back on and see if anything happens. If it was an if it was a ignition lockout, your furnace will start right back up. And if it's a flame sensor problem, um, what will happen is your burners will come on for about three seconds and then turn off. Come on for about three seconds and turn off. That's a guaranteed flame sensor issue. Flame sensor is usually on the left side of the burners. You see it right here, the one wire going to it. On the other side you have the igniter. It usually has two wires going to it. So you're looking for the one with the one wire. Usually, usually the flame sensor has just a quarter inch screw holding it, sometimes a Phillips. So you just unscrew it. And that comes out like that. You can unplug the wire or you can leave it plugged in, that's up to you. And here's what the flame sensor looks like. Sometimes there will be a lot of buildup on it, other times not as much. This one has just a little bit on it. And on different furnaces it's different styles, so sometimes it'll be just a straight flame sensor or just a 75 degree bend, this one's a 90. And then, to clean it, I usually use just like a dishwashing scrubby. I don't use sandpaper because if you scratch this metal rod, it seems like the dust sticks to it even faster, so you don't want to scratch it. So you just press real, real firmly and clean that up. And mainly you're concerned with just the part that's in the flame, which in my case is this part right here. If you want, you can scrub that piece a little bit too. So you scrub that real well, and you plug it back in. And that right there should solve your problem. So don't forget, you come down, you reset the furnace. If your burners only come on for about three seconds and turn right back off, this cleaning this flame sensor will do the trick. So there you have it. Now you're a furnace expert.